everyone, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black with the third in a series of five videos designed to demonstrate basic techniques for inking and stamping with our brush stroke stamps. And in today's video, I will be showing our spontaneous joy stamp and how you can get a beautiful no line watercolor look without doing any painting at all. You don't have to get a brush or any water or anything with this technique. You can just do it all with your ink and your markers and your stamp positioning tool. So here's a look at all of the supplies that I'll be using in creating this card. And I will also put this up at the very end of the video. So if you want to look at it in more detail at that time, you can just pause it and it'll be right up on screen. So to begin, I am working in my stamp positioning tool. I'm using the Misty by My Sweet Petunia. And I am inking the, the blossoms or the actual flower portion of the stamp using a very light ink. I am using Memento angel pink first and I'm stamping this a couple of times just to darken up the impression you can see right there how much detail and shading is included right here on the stamp without even using multiple colors that's just built right into the stamp but to take it one step further I am going to add some other colors here I am using the lilac posies memento ink and I'm putting the ink onto the stamp using my sponge dauber and this just helps it fade from the darker color to the lighter color. And you can get right in on the stamp where you want those darker colors to be by using that sponge applicator tool. Just kind of pounce it on almost with a little bit of a flicking or lifting motion at the very end. And I just want to be sure to get all of those different buds. And right away again, you can see just what beautiful detail is contained within this stamp. Now to really deepen up and accentuate, accentuate that great shading and details in the stamp, now I'm going to go in with some markers. So I'm going in now with the Lilac Posies marker and using a flicking motion right on the stamp to apply that in the areas that I want to be darker. And then I'm just stamping it over and you can see the drama that that adds to that image and the depth that it gives to the flower. If you're not sure where to add your darker colors, you can always look right on the packaging that your stamp comes in. Um, but with this stamp, it's fairly easy to see even right on the stamp itself where the darker colors should go. And I just love how easy this technique is to do and the dramatic results that you get right away just by stamping this down. I recommend stamping onto a smooth paper, so I'm using hot press watercolor paper, um, but you could also, because we aren't doing any painting or adding any water, you could do this on, for example, a smooth white cardstock like Nina Solar White Cardstock, and that would look really good too. And you can play around with which types of markers you like to use. I especially like these pinks in the Memento line, the Lilac Posies and the Angel Pink. And I'll even be putting on a little bit of the color Grape, uh, grape Jelly, I believe. Yep. And But you could use Distress Markers, Tombow Dual Brush Pens, any type of water-soluble or water-based marker works well. I like to work in sections so that there is not time for that ink to dry before I go over and stamp it. So that's why you don't see me put all of the color onto all of the flowers at the same time. I just sort of work a couple of petals at a time. Here's where I'm going in with that grape jelly color. And you can see how adding that third darker color really just keeps building up, building up the depth in those flowers. But this is a pretty dark color, so I'm just barely putting any onto the stamp. You can see it's just the tiniest little amount in the areas that I want to be the darkest. And also just sort of using that flicking motion. Now for this card, I am stamping this onto the center of a five by seven panel. Just to demonstrate this technique, but you can get really creative um, with these stamps just by where you position them onto your card. So you could do it around the perimeter of the card. You could stamp it onto a smaller panel or even a tag and just use a portion of the stamp. It just gets a completely different look every time that you use it.
And just by changing the color too, I think this this particular stamp would look great with oranges and reds to give these flowers the look of poppies. That would be another way to just get even more use and change up the look that you get with it. And I'm just adding some shading here on this little bud. Using all three of those colors. And now I'm going to go in and do the stems. When I'm applying the color with the markers, I am using the brush tip to apply all of that color. And what's so great about using markers for this is that you can get right in on the detail and just color only where you want that color, right on the stems without overlapping it all onto the flowers. So that first color that I've used is bamboo, excuse me, pear tart. And now I'm adding some additional darker shading with bamboo leaves. That's the color. And not coloring the entire leaf, but just sort of applying a flicking motion onto the stems and the leaves so that you still see some of that lighter color. And all of the stamping is now complete. So here's just a picture of what that looked like when it was, when I was finished stamping that. I just pulled it out and took a snapshot for you. And then I did go ahead and turn this into a card by masking around the perimeter with painter's tape and applying distress inks and a little light stamping and a die cut sentiment. And I do have another video with a different stamp where I show that process and I will be sure to link that down below in the YouTube description box for you if you're interested. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, on our blog and our website. And here's a list of all those supplies used.